Now, let's continue our cross-site scripting discussion. This time, we will talk about cross-site scripting prevention basics. Take note, preventing a more advanced XSS attack is not covered in this video. We will also introduce the advantage of using web application firewall over other web attack prevention. We will also do some lab demonstration. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm the internet. Action Star. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. There are many ways to prevent cross-site scripting. First, input validation. This is the process to block or sanitize input text with tags. Next is escaping. This refers to the practice of encoding special characters as they interpreted literally and not as special characters. In short, these characters won't be executed as codes. Many modern JavaScript frameworks automatically do escaping, such as React, Angular 2, etc. Other web frameworks such as Django also have built-in cross-site scripting attack prevention. There are also some cases that your application only take a handful of valid values. The best practice is to only permit those known good values using whitelist model. Another attack prevention is to enable content security policy from the HTTP response center. You can instruct the browser to execute scripts only from the list of sources. So here's the question. What if you have this application that is vulnerable to XSS and is using an old insecure framework and are too many complex code with complex server configuration and many web servers as well? You don't want to change all of this. Would it be good if you can centralize everything, the web server protection, configuration, and management, instead of changing various codes changing all configuration of multiple web servers. This is where the web application firewall comes in. It's policy-based, signature-based, and it's an intelligent appliance as it would automatically enable signature based on specified system, framework, and programming languages. We added an appliance in our topology. There is now an F5 WAF between the two nodes, a WAF between the attacker and the target web server. First, we'll show you the WAF security policy. Then the attacker will send an attack payload to the web server. Lastly, we'll look at the result if the attacker is detected and or mitigated. I'm here in my F5 configuration utility specifically to application security page. And I already created a security policy with the name of XSS prevention. And this is already associated to our virtual server named sticks underscore VS. Let's visit this virtual server configuration page. And as you can see, this is our VS uh, destination IP address 10.10.1.100 listening on port 80. Now, if I go to security policies, it is confirmed that it is associated to XSS prevention security policy. And we also enable logging by uh, using log all request log profile. Now under server technologies, I also enabled Django and uh, Postgres SQL and Unix slash Linux technologies. Now this automatically enables signatures designed to protect those technologies selected. Um, next is we're gonna go to the attacker host or our Kali Linux. And we're going to run again our XSS Python script. Okay, I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, our XSS Python script attack is successful. Now let's go to our F5 web application firewall event log page. So I will use this window and I need to go to security event logs application request. 
And as you can see, we have uh, multiple logs, but we're more interested on this specific uh, event log request. And as you can see, it looks like it has detected something. Okay, it says attack signature is detected. And under occurrence, if I click this too, uh, this is the actual violation. And as you can see, it has detected the keyword and the attack signature is XSS script tag and parameters. Okay, and uh, the other one is XSS script tag. So we are detecting two um, signatures or attack signatures. And look at the apply block settings. It says stage, okay? And uh, this is the reason why it's not blocking uh, this request, although it has detected a violation. It's because of the enforcement mode. Um, the mode is, if we go back to our security policy list, uh, it says here the enforcement mode is transparent, also known as the monitoring mode. Also, if I click this uh, learning and blocking settings, it takes us to the specific page where under attack signature, you can verify that it's still under signature staging, which means it's still under learning mode. Now, what I'm going to do is I will disable signature staging and I will change the enforcement mode to block. Okay. And I'm going to uh, save this configuration. Okay. And also I need to apply the save configuration to our security policy, which is the XSS prevention. I'm going to click apply policy now. I'm going to click OK. Okay. Um, now let's test again. Let's go back to our Kali Linux. And this time we will go and visit the stick show blog page. And as you can see, script is ready. Okay. All we need to do is hit submit. And as you can see, the HTTP request is rejected. Well, ideally, also in a production environment, this should be redirected to a custom violation page. So let's go back to our event log page and uh, let's refresh this page. As you can see, we have a new event, okay? And look at the icon. It's not the green check, it's now red and this corresponds to a blocking uh, request, okay? Now, if I click again this occurrence, we'll see the same attack signatures detected. But this time, the apply blocking settings is block, not just alarm and learn, but also block. Another reason why we want to use web application firewall instead of traditional XSS protection is, it's not just XSS attack that we want to protect our web applications from. There are dozens of web attacks out there. It would be easier and more effective protecting against those attacks using a dedicated appliance such as WAF. So that's how we prevent basic XSS attack using F5 web application firewall. We can also use other solutions such as Akamai, Imperva, and many others. Here is the question. Can we bypass XSS protection? We will talk about this in another video.